So here's the introduction to the a Forest workshop. So Open Source Ecology will be holding the first ever afforestation workshop according to the Miyawaki method uh, in North America. There's a number of these forests that have been planted out there. It's a unique methodology for how you get very efficient growth using natives. So Shubendu is a fellow TED fellow and you can watch his TED talk online. But as far as the methodology itself, if you go to the website aforest.com with two T's, go to the methodology. It's, it's unique. So the Miyawaki technique uh, developed by uh, Dr. Miyawaki, who's still alive and active on this topic, it's, um, it's an effort that's been shown to work worldwide in all kinds of climate conditions. But the, the plantings are extremely intense, so it's 30 times more dense compared to conventional plantations, where one uses 50 to 100 different species in the area, and there's various favorable properties like 30 times better noise and dust reduction, from this, if you talk about urban forests, up to 30 times better carbon dioxide absorption compared to monocultures, guaranteed growth of at least one meter every year, maintenance free, and native forest after first three years. It's completely chemical and fertilizer free, supports local biodiversity. Uh, so factory farm, open source ecology, we're doing the first install here. In uh, This is gonna happen in September early September, first week of September. Now, as far as our specific install, we're going to do an area of 200 square meters with a density of three s s saplings per square meter. So about one sapling every three square feet. So a total number is we're going to plant out 600 plantlets, which are just, just one year old seedlings in small pots, like four by four or four by six pots. We're going to plant 600 of them out in 2000 square feet. Now, how do we select them? So first of all, we start with a list of 50 different ones by going to the various natives uh, databases and websites. Um, the procedure is to first make a list of all the natives. Second, find out if you can access them. Are they available in nurseries? Because if you can't, you have to change your, change your selection. Step three is the actual how do, you, how do you select what you need. For open source ecology case, we're doing an edible native forest. So the major species will be nut and fruit trees uh, that are natives. Uh, so that you select select five different major species, assign eight to ten percent of the total number based on five hundred six sorry six hundred for the two hundred square meters. So choose five. Uh, then select the number of supporting species, just assign two to four percent, and then minor species point two to one percent of the list of fifty. And how do you do this breakdown here? Well, the main determinant is the layer-wise distribution. For the most effective forest to use all the sunlight available, you want to have a canopy layer, a tree layer, a subtree layer, and a shrub layer, such that it's a synergistic kind of a forest uses all the available solar energy income. Canopy layer is about 15 to 20 percent. That's the towering trees above everything else. The tree layer are the major trees. 40 to 50 percent. The sub trees, the smaller trees, are 25 to 30 percent, and shrubs are up to 8 to 12 percent. So those are the things that are like up to say 10 meters in our case. Um, in this entire selection process, the layer-wise distribution is the arbiter of, of the selection. So what we did in our case, we start with the the five main species. So if I sort this here. Um, main selection we've got pawpaw hazelnut chestnut northern pecan persimmon that's for our native food forest now for you to re rearrange this what are the actual fractions going to look like so I, I arrange it sorted by the canopy by the various layers okay there's some mess up in the in the spreadsheet here but basically Break it down, the canopy trees, shrubs, subtrees, trees, and based on the percentages spoken before, basically canopy 15 to 20, trees are 40 to 50, subtree 25 to 30, shrubs are 8 to 12. That's exactly what we did, so those those numbers sum up to that. We, were, we chose more of the edibles, like for example, sugar maple, select the maximum quality for the quantity of that, because we want to get... Uh, maple uh, maple syrup various things there's 
Uh, also selected highly for evergreens to get up to 10% and also selected for the nitrogen fixers such as there's black locust, Kentucky coffee tree. We selected the maximums for that because we want to fix as much nitrogen as possible for the self-fertilizing ability and came up with our complete list. So you can see that this link plants and equipment spreadsheet here. Um, I've got to fix this here. But basically, we're going to aim to use our equipment, our, our tractors, to do the intense digging that's required for soil preparation because it's, it's one of those things that's typically applied in a forest, uh, for urban forests, for intense afforestation. And we'll experiment with that to see what the real growth rates are. For us, the interesting thing is, can we actually get these amazing growth rates and forests that could be productive but also highly native so it's it's a very synergistic low maintenance pretty much maxing out and as far as the mix between this and commercial production i mean if the natives are typically not selected but we're going to look at how can you select the most uh most developed species that are available today to so that the productivity of this force is it's not only native but also has huge productivity so eventually open source ecology will turn into I mean, in our game plan is the fact that we're going to end up doing breeding kind of like badger set research, the hazelnut chestnut breeding work where the theoretical values of, of crop production are about 16,000 pounds or so per acre. Now those the, the typical crops stand at two to 4,000 pounds per acre, but that's something for long-term multi-generational breeding of perennial woody crops is something we're much interested in. So we'll see how this, this ties with that. So that's a brief introduction to the methodology of a forest. Uh, the first workshop in North America with Shuben Sharma from A Forest, the organization. We look forward to that in September.